Images are not only used for direct mapping onto meshes, but can also be employed to create impressive effects in animations. To start, I'll demonstrate how to create a radar-like effect using this image. First, I'll choose an arbitrary color and use the pixels of the texture as values for the alpha. As you can see, we get this radial bluish gradient, but the transparency isn't working. To fix that, we need to set the transparent property of the material to true. And there you have it. To add some animation, I'll use the rotate function to rotate the cylinder's texture coordinates. Another interesting thing we can do is layer this effect on top of another texture. To achieve that, I'll pass the RGB values from the texture first. Now, to prevent the texture from rotating, I'll create a variable to hold the original UV coordinates before the rotation and pass those to the texture to the function. This wraps up this episode, so don't forget to like, share and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one.